Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AE is uh, 6 uh, units, whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, EB is represented by 10 times X, and this uh, vertical uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 6 units, and this segment uh, BD is uh, represented by 3 times X. And moreover, this uh, side length uh, AC of this uh, triangle is uh, 13 times X. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded uh, region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded uh, region, so therefore we must find the value of uh, x uh, first. Now let's focus on this uh, horizontal length. So this whole uh, length uh, AB is going to be 6 uh, plus uh, 10x. So I can write this thing as uh, 10x uh, plus uh, 6. And likewise, uh, this uh, vertical uh, side uh, BC is going to be 6 uh, plus uh, 3x. So therefore, this side length of BC turns out to be 3x plus 6. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 10x plus 6, 3x plus 6, and 13x. So we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for uh, x. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call the longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call uh, this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, 10x uh, plus 6 uh, whole uh, square plus b is uh, 3x plus 6 whole square equal to c in our case is 13x whole square. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on these two binomials on the left hand side. So therefore this could be written as 100 x square plus 120x plus 36 plus likewise for this next binomial this is going to give us 9x square plus 36x plus 36 equals to on the right hand side that is going to give us 169x square. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So that is going to give us 109x square plus 156x plus 72 equals to 169x square. Now let's go ahead and move everything on the right hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step, let's go ahead and combine uh, these two like terms. So therefore, we are going to have a 60x square minus 156x minus 72 equal to 0. Now we can see that this uh, equation is divisible by 4 across the board. So let me go ahead and divide each and every term by 4 to keep things simple. So therefore we ended up with the 15x square minus 39x minus 18 equal to 0. So therefore we are ended up with this quadratic equation and we are going to solve for x by grouping and factoring. And by the way you may use the quadratic formula as well if you wish. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and uh, multiply these uh, two end uh, numbers, 15 uh, times 18. And here I have copied down uh, 15 uh, times uh, 18. Now let's go ahead and break them down. 
15 could be written as 3 times 5 and likewise we can break this 18 as 9 times 2 and now we can see that 5 times 9 is going to give us 45 and likewise 3 times 2 is going to give us 6 and if we subtract 45 and 6 that is going to give us 39. So therefore we can tweak this middle term the negative 39x could be written as a negative 45x plus 6x. As you can see in this next step I have replaced this negative 39x by negative 45x plus 6x and now we can see between first these two terms 15x is in common and between the last two 6 is in common so therefore I can write 15x outside so that's going to give us x minus 3 and here I'm going to factor out positive 6 so we got x minus 3 equal to 0 and now we can see x minus 3 and x minus 3 they are in common so therefore I can write uh, x minus 3 times 15 x plus 6 equal to 0 let's separate these two factors so the first is going to be x minus 3 equal to 0 and the second 15 x plus 6 equal to 0 for this first equation x turns out to be equal to positive 3 and for this uh, second equation uh, we got uh, if we move this uh, negative 6 on the other side uh, that's going to give us uh, 15x equal to negative 6 let's divide both sides by 15 so therefore x turns out to be negative 6 uh, divided by 15 and if we reduce this thing x turns out to be negative uh, 2 divided by 5 value and we can see that x cannot be a negative number so therefore we are going to accept x equal to positive 3 value and we are going to reject this negative value so since our value x turns out to be 3 so this 13x is going to become 13 times 3 is going to be 39 this uh, 10 times x is going to give us 10 times uh, 3 is going to be 30 and for uh, this uh, 3x is going to be 3 times 3 is uh, 9 and finally for this uh, 10x uh, plus 6 uh, if we replace by 3 so that is going to give us uh, 30 plus 6 is going to be 36 and finally this uh, side length uh, 3x plus 6 uh, if we replace uh, x by 3 that is going to give us uh, 15 and here's our next step let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, purple shaded region is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big triangle ABC minus uh, the area of this uh, smaller triangle EBD so therefore our task is uh, to calculate the area of the triangle uh, ABC and the area of the triangle uh, EBD as well. So therefore we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And for this uh, triangle uh, the base is uh, 36 and the height uh, is uh, 15 so therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half times 36 times 15 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us 270 so thus the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 270 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this smaller triangle ABD and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equals to half times base uh, times height and for this triangle the base is uh, 30 and the height is uh, 9 so therefore the area of this triangle EBD is going to be a half times uh, 30 times uh, 9 
and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 135 so therefore the area of this triangle uh, EBD turns out to be 135 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded uh, region we already figured out uh, our uh, triangle ABC area is 270 and the EBD area is uh, 135 so therefore our uh, purple shaded region area is going to be 270 minus uh, 135 if we subtract that is going to give us uh, 100 uh, and uh, 35 so thus the area of this uh, purple shaded region turns out to be 135 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye